there i hope you have a lovely day so today i'm going to show you my in or give you my introduction for the project pan me a story watson this is based on the stories of sherlock holmes by, uh, by Arthur, Con Sir Arthur conan doyle and this project was created by deborah and it starts on the 22nd of may and it goes until the 22nd of may 2023 so that means it's a year-long project you have to give monthly updates and um, she did a lot of work because she kind of summarized all the stories and picked one prompt um, Based on those prompts we have to pick our products She also mentioned that this is a rolling style product So you that means for example once you finish a product you can put, roll in the next one and you can start as much as or as many products as you want and or you can reinterpret actually you know uh, interpret your um, the stories or the prompts your way and or choose different prompts or different you know um, products in that sense uh, how you like it and i thought okay i'm actually since yesterday or this for a couple of weeks now i'm looking actually for products which i can pull into this project and i, <laughs> uh, I am now i don't know i have you know, I checked the stories itself, themselves, so the, we have 55, 55 different uh, stories, so that means 55 different pr products, of course. I don't want to start with 55 or the introduction with 55 products and then I will, I will feel overwhelmed and I cannot complete this project because there's too much going on, etc, etc. So for me it was like... Uh, when I read now the summary again about this project uh, pen, I was like, aha, uh -huh, I will do it this way. Now, what I will do is like, I actually read the prompts. I read actually, you know, I wrote down the title of the book. I wrote down the prompt and then I picked the product and I made a separate list now with the products that I'm pulling into this product. I am not done yet because even though this box looks full, it is not all 55 products, but I will do something like this. I will actually start with the first eight, uh, you know, stories that she has mentioned and then try to, you know, use the products themselves at least five times. Or in some cases, I will aim to use them up so that I can roll them out. Now, what I picked now, let me see, I might need to empty actually this little box here because now, of course, everything is in a different order. You know, I put every, the things in that I actually found so far. And maybe I just take out, take away first my notes. So, and then I let you see what I got for the first eight prompts. Because on the page that I showed you now, uh, on this one, I have eight prompts and I calculated so for example if you have 12 months uh, and you have let's say 60 products you would fit in at least uh, six products no five products a month so I will I was aim a little bit higher and start with eight products and then see what I can do about those products you know as I said either use them five times only and then roll them out or try to use them up and have more fun with those products and i think some of the products that i have picked for some prompts might be easier you know um to solve for example for one product i picked for one prompt sorry i picked several uh perfume samples so you know i think they will be quicker gone out of the roll out of this project as others so the first uh story that she has mentioned is a study in scarlet something red and of course something red i have here this red nail polish and i've used this one so far in other projects but i want to have more use out of it so at least five times i want to use it okay so then uh, the next story is the sign of the four a quad or six band palette and i got this one now this little cutie palette from zoeva the cocoa blend and uh if you look here Let's see, this is a new palette to my collection. And you see here, the palettes are very, very small. And I thought, okay, at least five times use. If I you know, want to use, let's say, one shade longer, I will, of course, report back to you guys if I have you know, continued to use this one longer or 
um, we aim to you know hit pan in one of the shades I can always imagine you know to hit pan in one of those shades where I, uh, which I use for setting my eyeshadow so uh, but we will see so at least five times use and maybe we can start all a project called five times use and then roll out because I know there is a project where you have ten times use and then you roll it you roll in another pro product but so that, let me see uh, now then something spooky the next one was the hounds of basketball something spooky and uh, let's see before I drop everything I oh, yeah, yeah I got this one um, this eyeshadow palette from makeup revolution the newlyweds you know based on the um, story by Tim Burton here what nightmare before Christmas and I thought I'm going to use this one also five times at least Again, use it five times and then roll it out. And if I want to use it, let me show it to you. So it has the spooky, it has the, you know, skulls on it. So if I want to use it for a longer time, maybe I will use it. But for now, five times use and then roll it out. And so let's put this back together here. What else do I have? Then the sc a scandal in Bohemia, something that makes you feel... Uh, powerful or liberated and what was that one now aha uh -huh. the body shop eyeliner so this is the bo the body shop eye definer every time when I wear eye makeup I usually have also you know eyeliner on my waterline and I love this you know it gives my eyes the a more oriental look uh, I don't know it's if it's a political uh, political correct way to say it or not but I am from Turkey in you know my eyes shape are a certain way so I think you know uh, using black eyeliner is the best thing for me um, in that sense and I want to use this one actually up so if I can use this up that would be great within this project if not you know at least I, I can show you I used it five times and then I might want to roll it out and put in another product if I see that I cannot finish all 55 uh, prompts what else do I have and now the red-headed leak was the next story and it's a hair care product and I have here this a little bottle from the Oriba uh, or go uh, what is it it's called gold lost nourishing hair oil a child is screaming outside in the sunny weather so and I want to use this one up so you know I have it here so this one will be definitely used up what else do I have now a case of identity a brand you are loyal to and you might have known already or when you are watching my channel you know that uh, for example i love mac products i'm a big fan and uh, i you might have seen this uh, bronzer already but um it is a matte bronzing uh, you know uh, uh, and i want to finish this up actually so i put it in in this project but it's also mac is my favorite you know brand so I always buy things from Mac and they are reliable in that sense you know the quality is there so or else they would have already gone bust a long time ago if the quality was not there so now the next one is the Boscom Valley Mystery something someone gave you and uh, for that one I have actually the lip scrub so now this is a lip scrub from the brand Douglas. I think I gave, uh, gave you already an introduction uh, for it. Um, the brand or the Douglas is a makeup uh, shop like uh, Alta and so on in Germany. And you have also Mac there. You have all Anastasia Beverly Hills there. It is similar to Alta. Let's say it like this. Um, and um, they also sell their own stuff. So and uh, one of my customers she gave me uh, for. Christmas last year Christmas actually a set of lip balm as well as lip scrub so I'm going to use up this lip scrub then that's what one thing and then the next one is the the five orange pips something with a five use goal so you see I'm already in the habit of using uh, you know things five times so I have this little guy and this is a, a you know OPI nail lacquer uh, it's one one eighth fluid ounces or 3.75 ml and I 
want to use it five times and then roll it out because it's already separating but i think i can still get some use out of it and then just throw it out so now these are the first eight products that i want to use in this project i and then you know next time or in the second up or in the, in the first update i think i will try to already pull in some more products uh, maybe i will try to pull in another five so i have 13 then and i try to you know even though if it can be that i might not finish or hit my goals with all these products that i can still you know all the time roll in i am not sure about it uh, you know but i will see anyway I hope you enjoyed this introduction. I see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.